have you ever wondered what is the difference between those who succeed and those who fail? There is a major difference between those who are enjoying their lives and they're living their lives to the fullest. Today, I'm going to be talking about this in this discussion. Welcome to Tyrone Bowman Tonight. I'm your host, Tyrone Bowman. In this edition, it is my intention to be able to take us into a place within our minds where most individuals have probably never been before to show you that you have a hidden strength that you never even thought about. You know, oftentimes I, when I have conversations with people, I wonder why things go away for them. It's because they allow their problems, their circumstances, and their situations to control them. Everybody in the game of life loves a winner. Winners are celebrated. They're lauded. They're given gifts, talents, unreal, are always recognized. But the consolation prize, that prize rather, that's given to the loser is nothing in comparison to what the winner has. I've made up in my mind and purpose in my heart that I belong and I will be in the winner's circle in the game of life. Life is a game. There are rules of engagement that one must know how to engage in in order to see wonderful things happen. Think about it. We have a source, we have a power, we have an ability that most of us have never even tapped into. Let this discussion begin. I'll be talking about soar above it all. Soar above it all, S-O-A-R. When we look at the circumstances, when we look at our environmental surroundings, when we compare ourselves to other individuals not knowing their stories, and believe me when I tell you this, for every success, there have been many failures in the life or lives of those who have succeeded. We have gifts, we have talents, we have abilities. We can do what any other people can do. You can be, do, and have whatever it is that you set your mind and your heart to achieve. There's no reason why you cannot live your life. You can live laugh and love. Too many individuals are focusing on the very most negative aspects of this life and of this world and what they're finding out is that billionaires are still getting billions of dollars. Trillionaires are still getting trillions of dollars. During this pandemic, the rich have gotten richer. During this pandemic, the economy, believe it or not, through the manufacturers has soared in comparison to none. The trucking industry has imploded. Why? Because deliveries have to be made. Define what the word soar is because I like to define terms. This is why I said in an earlier video, I am an inspirational and motivational teacher, not a motivational speaker. The word soar, according to the Google dictionary, is defined as take off take flight, ascend, climb, rise, mount, plummet. I'll be talking about the eagle in a few moments and how we, just like the eagle, must learn how to soar above it all. When you study the life of an eagle, look at the strength and the wingspan of an eagle, people will understand how this majestically created bird was created really as the king of all birds. Now don't quote me on that, that's just something I said. Because in my mind, the eagle is the king of all birds. So there's a, so another synonymous definition or the opposite of it. Glide, plane, float, drift, hang, hoover. So let's get right down to it. Soar. What does the eagle represent? And I want us to understand tonight that we can do it all. 
You can be, do, and have whatever you desire to be, do, and have in this life and in this world. No one can stop you from succeeding but you. Circumstances can't stop you. The background can't stop you. Environmental surroundings can't stop you. The, uh, bad experiences of childhood memories cannot stop you from succeeding if you really want to succeed. I know a lot of different people who have overcome so many obstacles in their life and they are succeeding. Many of them have good jobs, they have good homes, they have wonderful families. They're doing great things. I like to talk to ordinary people that are doing extraordinary things. So I was looking, I was just studying briefly about, about the ego and the ego is something very, 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 very powerful. Let me just pull this up on uh, my phone here. The eagle with its keen eyes symbolize courage, strength, immortality, but is also considered king of the skies and messenger of the highest quote-unquote gods. In ancient Rome, the eagle or Aquilia was the standard of a Roman legion. Wow, isn't that something? You ever notice that um, in some aspect of America, they call it the, the great American eagle or the bald eagle. And let's see what the eagle represents here. The founding fathers made an appropriate choice when they selected the bald eagle as the emblem of the nation. The fierce beauty and proud independence of this great bird aptly symbolizes the strength and freedom of America. Guess what? We all have this strength on the inside of us. Every one of us, we have the ability to conquer. We have the ability to soar. We have the ability to go high above the circumstances of life and not allow them to dictate as to how we are going to live and be and do in this life. Your enemies can't stop you uh, from succeeding. Your haters can't stop you from succeeding. Jealous-minded, petty people cannot stop you from succeeding. You remember the, um, the old commercial with Smokey the Bear? He said, only you can prevent forest fires. Well, guess what? Only you can prevent failure from happening in your life. Only you can prevent the generational, quote unquote, curse from continuing and going into another generation. Too many individuals are just falling by the wayside. And it's not a matter of material things. Material things are not what people think they are. We need them, but we can exist without them if we have to. It is the inner strength, the core, that exists on the inside of each and every one of us that is enabling us to be, to do, and to have, to conquer. That's why I always ask the question, what do you want most out of life? Individuals have to decide it for themselves. I can't decide for someone what they want, but I can inspire and motivate them and help to point them in the right direction if they choose to go in this direction because you too, like the eagle, have great strength. Like the eagle, you can soar above your circumstances and situations. Just like the eagle. You know, you notice that an eagle is always up on the highest mountain looking down with its very extremely piercing eyes. And when the eagle leaves the perch, when they leave the top of that mountain and start soaring down against the wind, the prey that they have in their view, they've already been captured. They've already been killed. Why? Because the eagle saw them before they saw the eagle. And then once the eagle has gotten its prey, it takes it up to the highest point. Why? Because the air, it strangles them from breathing. They cannot cope because the eagle was designed to be able to deal with the fierce winds and fierce air. You and I 
have what it takes to succeed in this life. You can rise above it all. You can soar above it all. You can conquer any and everything. You know, the Holy Writ says, but they that wait upon Yahweh shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. You have what it takes to succeed. You have what it takes to prevail. You have what it takes to conquer. Now, some of us, we may have to make up in our minds and purpose in our hearts to change some of our habits, change some of the things that we've been doing, start making better and more wise decisions. We may have to eliminate uh, toxicity out of our lives. That's not a bad thing to do. That is an excellent thing to do because toxic people bring poison with them wherever they go. Toxic people are dream killers. Toxic people are vision stoppers. Toxic people are, are planters of doubt, planters of fear, planters of nothingness because they don't have anything. They don't want you to have anything. Make up in your mind, purpose in your heart, that you are going to soar above it all. You are going to start to excel. That you are going to put yourself in the mindset of an eagle. And once you do that, guess what? It won't be long because before you start pro uh, prospering in your life, because you're making that decision that you want to prosper. You're making a decision that you want to do something out of life. You're making it. A, you're making a, a definitive decision that nothing and no one is going to stop you. You know, the eagle is the chief over all the winged creatures. Eagle conveys the powers and messages of the spirit. It is man's connection to the divine because it flies higher than any other bird. If eagle has appeared, it bestows freedom and courage to look ahead. You can look ahead like the eagle. You can soar with freedom. You can soar with courage. Take the gifts, talents, and abilities that have been given to you by the divine and put them to work for good. Purpose in your mind, establish it in your spirit that you are going to begin to succeed just like the eagle. Get your mind honed in and locked on whatever it is that you desire to have. Don't allow anything, anyone, or anybody stop you. If you make a mistake, get up and start all over again. If you fall down, get up and dust yourself off and keep it moving. You know, beloved, one day, I don't know when, I'm going to look into the lens of this camera and I'm going to tell you my story. And then you'll see why I am so determined to help others to succeed, no matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter what town, city, or country you may reside in. Each and every one of us have to make a decision that we're not going to allow past hurts to stop us. We're not going to allow disappointments and rejections to stop us. We're not going to allow negative thinking, acting, speaking people with their words of poison to stop us from succeeding. Begin to envision in your mind, E-N-V-I-S-I-O-N. Begin to envision within your mind who you really are and what you desire to be, to do, and to have. Every time you turn into Tyrone Bowman tonight, when we upload these videos, they will be full of inspiration and motivation. I realize that somewhere, some, somebody's hurting, someone is grieving, someone is unemployed, someone is going through circumstances and situations that seem unbearable. Listen to me, you're going to come out of this. You're going to conquer, you're going to soar, you're going to succeed. Ask the divine to help you to summon up that ego strength that you already have within your spirit. Begin to believe in yourself as the Almighty believes in you. Don't be so hard on yourself. 
And if you've made a mess out of your life, acknowledge, you know what? I've made a mess out of my life. I've offended people. I've wounded people. I've betrayed people. But now I'm going to begin to get it together. Yes, you can. You can get it together and keep it together. And your life can have such a meaningful purpose. Let me tell you a quick story. I read a book entitled Succeeding Against the Odds. It was written by John H. Johnson. The late John H. Johnson was the founder of the Johnson Publishing Company, a.k.a. Ebony Magazine, Jet Magazines, Fashion Fair Cosmetics. Mr. Johnson was born in Arkansas during segregation, the hard time of segregation in Jim Crow. Mr. Johnson had a dream and a desire to own the first black-owned publishing company in America. People laughed at Mr. Johnson. They thought it was a joke. How are you going to succeed against the monolithic uh, corporations that already exist that have years of experience? But Mr. Johnson didn't allow it to stop him because he envisioned within his mind what he was going to be. He envisioned within his mind what he could have. And the purpose for Ebony Magazine and Jet Magazine was to showcase the positive, prosperous lifestyle of everyday black life. Check it out for yourself. I've read the book many times. Get a copy of it, Succeeding Against the Odds. To make a long story short, he needed capital. And in 1945, the banks did not loan money to black people. It was impossible to get a loan. What did he do? His mother had purchased some brand new furniture for the apartment. And he asked his mother, could he take the furniture down to the local pawn shop and pawn it? He did. That $500 that he got from the pawn shop turned into a $500 million a year money-making venture. The Johnson Publishing Company became the largest black-owned publishing company in America and around the world. So don't tell me. What can't be done? Soar above it all. Never surrender. Never quit.